Julia L from Australia asks, This is a really random idea, but maybe you could do a TLDR on service mine in Korea. Because in Korea, they give you free stuff all the freaking time. Mm, true. Although I just realized that by saying service mine, people might have no idea what we're talking about. We're going to explain what service is today. <laughs> Yeah, so my car's been making some weird sounds. Could you service the engine? Not what we mean. Oh. Ring, ring. Hello? Um, yes, I was looking at the optimal service for getting my internet made faster at home. Mm, that's not what you're looking for either. Oh. When we're talking about service, we're talking about the Korean word service. Oh, I see. You made it more clear. Service. <laughs> service. <laughs> okay. What you mean to say is service is an English word that has a different meaning in Korea. Yes. When someone says, oh, service, and they hand you something, it means you're getting for free, but not literally poop. They're not like, here's some free poop, have it. I don't know how to do TLDRs anymore. TLDRs got enough uh, to a rough start. On the plus side, look how cute we are coupley. Did you know that Martina bought this for me for Christmas and then she thought I might as well get one for myself as well because why not, even though I just buy myself a Christmas present. Our money. <laughs> That's you bought me a Christmas gift that I wanted. <laughs> you didn't wrap it up and put my name on it. I wrapped and it up for yourself. you. I said Merry Christmas. And like I got one for myself too. From that's you. Lame. For me. That's lame. Why as is a this present. conversation going on? It was actually buy two, get one 50% off. And then she got herself an extra shirt on I got top the Loki t-shirt. She went to the store, <laughs> bought like four okay, things for herself. Why are we talking about me. that? Okay, so what does service mean? Think of it as on the house or a sample for free. So for example, when we go to Canada, we buy face products that we need at stores like Kiehl's or Kiehl's or however you How pronounce it. How do you pronounce that? HL, those two letters shouldn't be together. <laughs> Point is whenever you buy something there, at the end, they'll be like, oh, do you want to try this little sample of this avocado cream or something like that? So the idea be behind is that they're trying to give you a small sample so that next time you come you might buy a bigger version of that product. Yeah, now I will say that Korea has a similar version of that except it's a lot better I personally think. I go to a food house, I can spend like $10 on like a single mascara thingy and they're like, here, try these 15 things, these new samples from this product that we're gonna have coming out soon. You already have this product? That's okay, I'll give you three more of them. I'll come home with more samples than things that I actually purchased. The way that I think about it is that in Canada what I'm used to is them trying to be like, here you should try this so that you could buy it in the future. In Korea, the feeling is more like you bought something. Let me hook you up with all this stuff right here. <laughs> it does kind of, it does kind of feel. It like has that, that kind of vibe to it. You know, even if you go to like a beauty or cosmetic store in Korea, especially in Myeongdong, mm -hmm. you can just enter the store. You don't have to buy anything, and they're like, here, have a free face mask, have a free pen, and then you like walk around inside. You're like, yes, interesting, and then you just leave. You can gather like all this. Free I will stuff buy to take this home one Q-tip, and I will take this fifty dollars worth of free samples. No, you don't you. even need to buy anything. They'll just literally try to Screw lure you in. <laughs> I'll take the $50, thank you. I'll tell you what else is really different in Canada. Okay. okay, if you go to a grocery store and you buy like a cereal for kids. Yes. If you're lucky, maybe it comes with a toy. Right. Which I feel like there have been a major loss of toys being in cereal boxes. When we were growing up, didn't it feel like there were tons of toys in every cereal box? There were like box? CDs in cereal boxes and whatnot. I don't think CDs existed when we were younger. Yeah, they did. I think they were tape cassettes. I'm sorry that you were like born in the 60s. <laughs> I look really good for my age. Oh, oh my god. god. In Korea, you can go to the grocery store and be like, I'd like to buy this coffee. And uh, we're going to throw in some light bulbs taped to the side. Shub wham wham. You can buy coffee and they come with mugs taped to it. But why get mugs taped to your coffee? You could get a free salad spinner taped to your coffee. Why get a free salad spinner? You could get a free lunch pail. What's that other thing taped to it? Strawberry iced tea. Right. So everything in these stores have these specials where you get things taped to it, but often they don't make sense. So many times whenever you go to Home Plus, you want to buy an item and they just have random crap taped onto it for oh free. You buy kimchi, it comes with like olive oil. You're like, okay. Oh, you wanted this brick of cheese? Here's a water gun that comes with it. You know what that carton of milk needs? Some yogurt taped to it. Oh, you want some ramen? Let me give you a big bag of toilet paper as well taped to the side of it. That could be forewarning. Perhaps mm. it's very spicy ramen and they're like, you'll need Clever. this bro. Huh? Now, sometimes you'll get things taped to other things that kind of make sense. Like I bought loose leaf tea once and it came with an entire glass teapot taped to it. Is that amazing? <laughs> it was like really pretty clear glass teapot. The teapot we almost break every day that we open the tea cupboard. Oh, is it because you've rammed all of your tea in there and you don't leave any room for anything else? I'm the organized one in this relationship. Martina's just the... Uh, I organize the tea cupboard. I do. What can you do, Martina? I don't organize the tea cupboard because I'm hoping that it'll break so that you can learn your lesson. 
the whole point is that here in Korea, whenever you go to a supermarket and you buy something, you get a lot of extra stuff for free taped to the side of it. And we're not used to having that in Canada whatsoever. Yes. I think the reason they're doing that is it's kind of a way to say you could buy the competitor's coffee or you could buy ours, which comes with the chicken tape to it. If you've got like 40 different options of coffee that a lot of the times mostly taste similar, why not buy the one with a free water hose attached to it? You I, get an extra, I'd get an extra water hose. You know what hose? this is like? What? I just realized a lot of the stuff in Korea is like, buy the sham wow now when it yes. comes with six knives for it's sharpening your cat. It's infomercial everywhere you go. You know what my favorite thing in Korea though is? Bar none. Bar none my favorite. Do you want to sign up for a cell phone plan? Oh yes. Let's sign you up to a two year contract for an $800 phone. And you know what? We'll throw in some toilet paper for you as well. There you there go. You that go. seals the deal. deal. We're not exaggerating. You walk down the street and you see a cell the phone shop. The big balloon arch outside That's of it. That's right. And the girl yes. being like, oh, and you're out She's like dancing awkwardly trying and to get your attention. Got, she's got the little mic with Microphone. the speakers that are all blown out. And there's like stacks of ramen or like stacks of toilet paper. And they even had kimchi before. I've yes. seen like stacks of kimchi. Why? I just... I, I don't I don't understand the, the, the reasoning behind it or how that's more of a selling point. Well, because the competitors across the street will charge you for an 800 dollars cell phone and you won't get any toilet paper with if you're If you're in the market for a cell phone, might as well get some free toilet paper. That's what I'm it. saying. Now, the above examples we gave of stuff being taped to other stuff and getting toilet paper with your hand phone, those are all examples of free samples or like free stuff you'd get. And you may not hear someone actually use the word service. But when it comes to going to Korean restaurants, I think that's when you'll hear the word service used the most. That's when it becomes a real big deal here. Mm -hmm. So here's a scenario. You go to a Samgyeopsal restaurant, you know, order a whole bunch of meat, and when the waiter brings it out to you, he'll put all the meat on the grill, and then he'll give you a bottle of cola, and he'll say, service it. I just got a free bottle of cola. That's pretty fantastic. 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 So sometimes you get free stuff on the side, like you might get a free egg dish on the side. You might yeah. get like twin jigi on the side. You're not going to get something like a whole meal. Like they're not going to say, oh, here's service Samgyeopsal and give it to you. That right. would be kind of like crazy. Only if you've been to a restaurant a lot and you have a really close relationship with them. Like there are a couple of meat grilling restaurants that we're really close with that. Whenever we go to them, they give us like a whole bunch of extra sausages and extra sweet potatoes and whatnot. And they're actually listed on the menu as like one of the main dishes, but they're just trying to say like, thanks for coming here so much. It's only because we contribute to like half of their monthly yes. revenue because we're there all the time. I like grilling meat. But please do note, this is only usually for like mom and pop shop. You can't go to a Taco Bell in Korea and ask for a service gordita because when it comes to the bigger franchise, Franchises, they don't really participate in the whole service thing. Well, that would be great. It would be. You order like six tacos uh, and then they're like, here's your gordita. Gordita. I like gorditas. I've never had a gordita actually. Have you had a gordita? Uh, Taco Bell I have. Really? Yeah. What do they taste like? Mm, tastes like the same shit with just like different shells. Oh, way to sell it to me. Uh -huh. Somehow I'm craving. Taco Bell, same shit, different wrapping every time. Martina and I were having this discussion before. I never experienced on the house stuff in Canada. Like I've gotten so much free stuff at restaurants here in Korea and yeah. in Canada, never. Okay, I see your point. Yes. I think it comes down to in Canada, you really, really, really have to know a place for them to be like, thanks for coming back to Johnny's. Here's a free service starter or a salad on the side or here's a free dessert. Just spit on me, Chani. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> but I think in Korea, you do get more free stuff just because the mom and pop shops are trying to compete with the bigger chain. It makes you want to go back to that location again because it makes me want to go back again. And, and you know you? what? I get all this free stuff in Korea and I don't have to tip. While in Canada, it's like, I'm not going to get free stuff. And sometimes the waiters don't even give me my proper stuff and I still have to give them a 20% tip. That's true. I'm going to say that you can demand service in very certain situations, right. such as you're ordering delivery mm -hmm. and the food is taking forever and you call them back and you're like, where's my food? And they're like, holy crap, we forgot oh, your forgot. food. I forgot. You're like, well, you better hook me up with some, some service. service. You and can, they do. And mm -hmm. they'll maybe give you a free side dish, like mm -hmm. free mendu or like free steamed egg or yeah, something yeah. like that. So we're going to talk a little bit more about different kinds of service that you could experience outside of restaurants and outside of shopping malls in our blog post. Make sure you click on the link here if you want to read more about it. And our question for you this week is, do you get free stuff in your country? And if you do, where do you live and can I live there? Free stuff is really nice. None tastes better than free food. Mm -hmm. For last week's TLDR, in Lee and I discussed living in Korea as an international student. We talked about dorm life. We asked you guys to share your input on it if you've experienced it and we got some awesome responses. We had an interesting combination of comments from Magmaman007, Shimmy Wong, and The Illusion of Beauty who all went to Yonsei University and who all had very different experiences of dorm life there. Yeah, I think what we realized is that even if you go to the same university, some people totally agreed with Lee. Some people said combinations of what Lee was saying right. and The Illusion of Beauty was like, whoa, I didn't experience any of that at all. We had like total freedom. So I think the 
point that we should learn out of this and out of all of our TLDRs is that our experiences that we talk about here don't represent everything in Korea, but mm -hmm. only a specific set of experiences. And also I think it's best to come to Korea with the worst mindset possible. Yes. That you're going to have the worst dorm yeah. with all the rules and then find out the illusion of beauty swimming, which you're like, wow, there are no rules at all. That's so better. So if things are great for you, then great. So at least come prepared and expect maybe not the best situation. When we moved to Korea, we thought that we would live in the countryside. I thought I was going to live on a in, farm. Like a hole I in the wall. I literally had no idea what was going to happen. So everything was here. just looking up. And the last comment I want to talk about was from Yuju Chingu, who mentioned to remind us that the Goshi ones sometimes are really claustrophobically tiny. That's a detail we forgot to mention in yes. the last CLDR. I mean, I know Lee mentioned it a bit in the blog post, but we didn't really emphasize that it's sometimes it's like living in a Harry Potter style closet. It's really tiny. So if you're claustrophobic, maybe not for you. Unless you're a wizard. Are you a wizard, Harry? You're a hairy wizard. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sleep well last night. <clears throat>